There are actually many ways to solve subtraction that you may not even be aware of. We're gonna talk about just a few of those strategies today. Let's first start with the expression of 213 take away 57 or 213 minus 57. I wanna first show you the count up or add up strategy. You may be a little irritated to find out that you never really had to do subtraction. You can always add up to find the answer to a subtraction expression, or sometimes we call that the difference, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the subtrahend. And again, the subtrahend is the number that we are taking away. In this case, it's 57. I'm literally gonna be finding the distance between the numbers 213 and 57. So I'm gonna start at 57, and here's where I wanna hop by friendly numbers. Now, usually when we say friendly numbers, we're talking about um, either getting to a number where the ending digit is a zero. That would be a friendly number. Or sometimes we are thinking about, well, I know it's really easy to add 10 or add 100. Um, those would also be considered friendly numbers as well. So I see that this is at 57, and right away, I wanna get to a friendly number, which is 60. So I'm going to hop three. Notice that I am going to put this plus three on there, okay? And now I know that I am at the number 60. I know I need to get all the way to 213, so I got a ways to go. I know that because of my combinations to 10, 60 plus 40 would get me to 100. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that next. Again, notice that my hop of three is about the same size as my hop of 40. That is okay because it's an open number line. All right, so here I am at 100. Now I can easily hop another 100 to get to 200. So let me do that, plus 100. Now I'm at 200 and then I can just hop 13 to get to 200. 13. Now, to figure out what our answer is, we are going to be adding up all of these numbers up here, all of these hops that I made. So you can see if I start combining by place value, uh, I've got 40 plus 13 plus 3. 40 plus 13 would be 53, plus 3 is 56, plus I've got another 100. So I know that my answer to this problem would be 156. The next strategy I wanna show you is called constant difference. And if you watch the addition strategies video, this is really similar to the compensation method, but we're gonna use it with subtraction instead of addition. I wanna paint a picture for you. Let's say you're running a marathon and there are two mile markers that are watering stations. One of them is 28 and one of them is 32. And if I tell you that the distance between these stations will always remain the same, could you tell me where else there's water stations? So in other words, I know that there are four, let's just call them miles, four miles between each station. Well, then that means that there would be another station at 24 miles, right? Because I know that it's every four. And likewise, there'd be another station at 36 miles. You're getting my picture here. So you can almost think of this as like if I were sliding across on a number line, I'm still maintaining the distance between the two numbers. Now let's try this with a subtraction problem and I'll show you what I mean. So now I've got on the board 126 minus 87. Again, we're thinking about if we shift the number line or if these are two mile marker stations and we're just shifting them but maintaining that same distance between. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually write this vertically because I think it's easier um, for me to see. And I think to myself, gosh, this is not very friendly. However, if this subtrahend was 90, man, that would make my life so much easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and add three to that number. And I'm also going to add three to this number, okay? So now my new problem is 129 minus 90. And I can see that I get nine minus zero is nine, 120 minus 90 would give me 30, and I get 39. Now you might be thinking, how does that work? How, do, how does it work? You added three and added three. Well, it turns out we're actually subtracting both of these numbers here. So really this is coming in as a negative three, if you wanna think about that. So I have a positive three and a negative three, which would give me a zero pair. This is why it works. So if you don't believe me, let's just double check our math. 
So we have 126, we'll do it the old school way, minus 87, see how much faster it is. Here we go. Six, take away seven, oh, I can't do it. I'm gonna need to ungroup or borrow, I don't like that word. Okay, so I get a one, I get a 16, 16 take away seven, hold on, let me make sure. 15, 40, you see what I'm saying? This is a lot of work. Nine, okay, now I've got one take away eight, well, that's not gonna work, so I get 11 minus eight, which gives me three, I get 39. Constant difference strategy, very similar to um, the compensation method in, in that you're doing something to both the minuend and subtrahend, and it has to be the same, it has to be constant. The last strategy I wanna show you is called the break apart strategy. And here's how it works. We can actually break apart our subtrahend into friendlier numbers so that we can do this without ever having to ungroup, regroup, borrow, however you wanna call it, okay? So I'm gonna break apart 57 into, I see that I got this 13 here, and if it was just, if I could get it to zero, that would be awesome. So I know that this can be broken down into 13, which would leave this as 44. So basically I'm thinking of it as 213 minus 13 minus 44. I know that this is going to give me 200. So I now have 200 minus 44, and you might be thinking, yeah, but now you really created a mess for yourself. Again, I can break it down. So I could break this number apart into, by place value, 40 and four, and I would have 200 minus 40 minus four, 200 minus 40 is 160 minus four, which would give me 156. Sometimes I get students that say, that's a lot of work. Yes, I understand it seems like a lot of work for our brains. We're not used to thinking about these strategies. But for students who are exposed to thinking about subtraction in many different ways, this actually comes really almost naturally to them because that's what they know. Um, they're not taught to borrow, to carry right off the bat. That's not how it is. We want them to be able to manipulate numbers based on place value and also getting to friendlier numbers. That's really kind of our end goal. I hope you have some options now for subtraction strategies, and I would really encourage you to try them. I know it feels uncomfortable. Um, don't worry, it gets better over time. Give a try on some of these strategies and see if it makes life a little bit easier.